we have a lot of packages for Lenny's enclosure. So today I am going to be redoing Lenny's setup in his cage. It's been the same way for quite a while and I've ordered some new accessories for him that I wanted to include. So first I wanted to show you guys everything that I got. So the first couple of items are actually from Amazon and this is from the brand Night Angel. They do a lot of roadie pet type of products so I'm really excited to see. <laughs> so this is ceramic hide. So this is just good for summertime. Um, it can keep them nice and cool. It also gives them another place to go in and hide. Uh, so it's just another type of enrichment. So I'm gonna play Jenga. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. <laughs> so this one is the uh, ceramic tunnel that matches with the ceramic hide. And this is Syrian size. I think they make a dwarf size as well. Ta-da! Look at this. So you can have this kind of connected. That noise though. You can have them connected sort of like this um, inside the enclosure. The next thing from Night Angel that I got uh, is this. It looks like, oh, oh my gosh. So it looks like this. <laughs> it has their logo right there and it has an opening there, an opening there. But you put this on uh, the inside up against like glass or something and that way you can actually see inside these holes. So it's a little bit of a fun way to still be able to see your hamster but give them the feeling of privacy. Um, and yeah. The next package actually was sent to me by the lovely Bethany's Animals on Instagram. She has her own shop for hamster packages and she was kind enough to send me one. She has a bunch of different themes. Um, I think this theme actually is the boredom breaker theme, which I thought was a really cute idea. So there's some really pretty pink paper and first is a rosewood boredom breaker the woody's fruity roller so this is just a little watermelon fruit roller then there is the very large bundle of flax sprays also known as linseed i know a lot of people are always dying to get their hands on these and for some people it, it can be harder than others so if you're looking for somebody who sells it pearly's packages does the next thing inside of the package is uh, a bundle of millet spray, which is also awesome and a good forging for hamsters. As well as she includes four little willow balls in which you can stuff with some black sunflower seeds and it makes a really great boredom breaker because the hamster has to try to break open these little wicker balls to get the little treats. So that is everything inside of that parcel. She has many other ones to choose from, so I'll leave her link in the description bar in case you wanna go check her shop out. And the last package I got is from an Etsy seller. Uh, her brand is Fat Pouches. She has a really super cute hamster sticker on the box. I have to show you guys it. But she is based in Singapore, so it did take a little bit of a crunching in the mail, but that's fine. And she mainly has a lot of hamster seed mixes, hamster foraging foods, sprays, um, and a bunch of other things. So I ordered some hazelnut leaves, and this is 100 grams, which is quite a lot. And they're not too crunched, which is great. Some apple leaves. Uh, unfortunately, these ones did get a little bit crushed. It still works for sprinkling inside of the cage, but they did get a little squished. I got some red sorghum, and she also sent a sample of some flax, so it looks like we have a lot of flax today. I'm very excited to put this in Lenny's cage, though. And the last thing I'm really excited about is I got... Uh, some sunflower heads. So this is a sunflower head cracked in half and this contains 
uh, black sunflower seeds and this allows your hamster to just pick them right off the head. Uh, this can stay in the enclosure depending on the hamster and how much they are going to remove off of the head. Obviously if they're trying to eat all of the sunflower seeds it should be taken away because sunflower seeds are quite fatty but it is a good enrichment. So those are all of the items that I got for Lenny's enclosure and now let's go redecorate his cage. So while Lenny was in his carrier, I took it upon myself to give his little nest area just a little clean out. He does occasionally pee where he sleeps, um, but he also does have a specific pee corner that I do clean out in his hideout. But today I'm just gonna go through and make sure that I get any soiled pieces of bedding. I'm also going to sweep the top of the hideout. He makes a really big mess on there. He also likes to sometimes pee on there, so I'll give that a wipe down. I'm also just going to pick out any soiled substrate that I see around the cage, any pieces that are like debris, I'm just going to remove that. And I'm going to be re-adding in some more KT Clean and Cozy bedding just to replenish what I took away and also to give a little bit more bedding depth. There you see Lola getting into all of Lenny's stuff. I also wanted to talk about why Lenny doesn't have a sand bath in his enclosure. A sand bath is something that I recommend every hamster owner have in their enclosure. It's really important for a hamster. It provides them with enrichment, so it is necessary. But the reason Lenny doesn't have one is because Lenny has issues with his peen. It does not retract. It is constantly sticking out. And that makes it easy for things to get on it and infect it and possibly scratch it, cause it to swell. So because of that, he does not get a sand bath because I don't want to risk him getting sand on his wiener. I'm now adding in his little granite rock that just kind of is there for him to keep cool. I'm also going to add in some of his favorite chews he likes to chew on. Then I'm adding some of the hazelnut leaves. As well as the apple leaves. And we cannot forget our good old herbs. Add in a bunch of flax seeds and a spray of sorghum, a tiny piece of the sunflower head, and then scatter feed his food.